<laughs> have you guys seen this? The whole um, influence uh, argument and debate that's been happening in the UK. So I guess maybe other parts of the, of the world must have the same issue. But effectively, if, obviously with COVID, um, it's basically exasperated or exposed the inequality um, gap and differences that exist, you know, in modern life, especially in Western Europe. And you've seen a lot of people who have the means and ability to kind of get away from the country and go to sunnier climates are able to do so. And some of these people have taken advantage to go into, you know, maybe developing third world countries where they're not really observing the rules as they maybe should do or countries where the government are not taking COVID as seriously or they're taking a different approach and leaving things more open like Russia, like Ukraine, blah, 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 blah. blah. And they're basically um, using it as an opportunity to go to these places so they can continue, quote unquote, working these influences, right? And in the UK, the favorite destination to go to, our version of like um, Tulum, is to go to Dubai, right? Because it's sunny, um, it has access to all the amenities that they need, great backdrops, um, a fairly affluent -y kind of city. So it's got all the great things that somebody like an influencer would need. But it's also. Um, but it's also uh, it's also turned into a bit of a, a situation for the people that live there, right? Because all these people coming over from the UK who have traveled to other places are inexplicably promoting the place, which is then leading other people to come, which is then driving up tourism, which is obviously driving up the case and the possibility of contamin uh, of kind of the virus spreading, right? So it's kind of a danger to them in general. And uh, I guess in terms of efficacy, um, efficacy, no, in terms of, it being ethical, morally right, it does kind of board on that line because it's not illegal to go to Dubai. It's not against the law, but it does maybe it's not in it's not in the spirit of co no, cooperation. It's not in the spirit of civic duty. It's not in the spirit of cooperation, right? That we're all kind of quote unquote going through this together to see an influencer fly off to Dubai, sitting on the side of a of a of a swimming pool, sat on a camel, and then saying that that's part of their work, right? It's not obviously the right thing to do. Um, so, but they're doing it anyway. But for some reason, this influencer decided to go on daytime television, which is obviously usually a platform for outrage. Like, oh my God, I can't believe young people are doing this. Da, 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 right? Um, they went on this platform to talk, um, to basically defend themselves and inevitably ended up making a complete fool of herself on this platform because she didn't have any prepared statements or, you know, uh, points that she kind of went to get across. She just got herself eviscerated. And it's a pretty funny watch, to be honest. So let's watch this thing. Let's put it full screen and let's play it. It's not in the spirit of it, is it? When, when at the moment in lockdown, everybody is just wanting to, you know, we're in this together. That's what it feels like. However, when we yeah, see yeah. someone like you out there beside a ball. And again, no offense to her, to her as well, Sheridan, Sheridan. Um, not the most attractive girl in the world, is she, right? In terms of being an influencer, influencer, right? Not, in, not, not the most attractive girl in the world. Um, and also very interesting that, I don't know why this is. I guess it's maybe a, a difference in the sexes, but I wonder what it is about regular women that like to follow girls like this, like because their worlds, they don't really, um, they don't really. Re there's no apart from her being a Caucasian girl or something. If you if you share the same skin tone and you you know the same race, there's nothing really that you share in common, right? They occupy, they're the one percenters, right? They're the five percent, they're the five percenters. They earn a wage that you probably would never earn. They have access to things that you probably would never have access to. So I really am curious as like, why is, why do so many girls, <gasps> sorry, I'm, too, I'm sick of going it. Why do so many girls follow these people and see them as idols, as somebody that they can kind of look up to an inspiration? Like there's no inspiration, like, I don't know. It's always kind of intrigued me why, why girls tend to kind of follow people like this a lot. You don't really get it a lot with dudes. We don't go following around guys that we don't have anything in common with in any way, shape or form, apart from just being a guy. I don't know. I know I don't anyway. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's me. Oh, we're not in it together. It's not in lockdown spirit. Yeah, I think I think what you've got to understand is my job. So my job is to motivate people. Do you know what I mean? If I was if I was going to be lazy, if I was going to sit back, if I didn't, if I couldn't be bothered to provide a service. <laughs> sometimes it's a free service. At the minute, I'm providing free work. Um, I can just sit back and just think, you know what? I'll wait until gyms open. But because I've See, got such a high demand of young girls, that I want to do it. Work. 
Hey, it makes me feel utterly jealous. And that's the thing as well that I didn't understand about this interview. She, again, like, bless her, but it's so unprepared. I wish I was, that's a, one of my jobs I wish I could have, right? To be a crisis manager for some of these influencers and celebrities when they go and cover. Because she should have had a prepared statement, some sort of thing that she went to kind of run through, right? When, 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 whenever you're asked, you know, a question about, hey, don't you think it's, you know, against kind of civic pride and we're not going to through this together, the other sort of stuff, your kind answer could be like, hey, yeah, although I'm under understand everyone's fixing struggles you also don't understand i have a very unique job um uh, a, a job that requires me to be somewhere where i have access to gym equipment in order to kind of record my videos for my workouts it's also partly um to do with the backdrops i need to have backdrops that kind of lead to motivating people due to my marketing and my seo and all that there needs to be something that you can say some sort of um statement some sort of phrase some sort of um thing that you say a canned response to these kind of questions that you're possibly going to get from a lot of regular Joes that aren't just going to get it because this is obviously a new career, right? This influencer thing is a new thing. It's something that people are just kind of suddenly getting to grips with. So in the middle of the pandemic, see all these people traveling in the middle of Dubai, it doesn't make any sense to you. Obviously there's some sense to it, but you need to explain it in layman's term and she didn't instead she just said it's motivation and they've got videos of her on camels and shit and she sat outside in the court what in the swimming pool of a apartment complex it's like what is what is the motivation here you don't need to be sat on a camel to tell people how to do sit-ups and push-ups do you like i'm just so jealous i just I want mean, to feel the sun on my skin that's all i want I've lo i would love nothing no, that more was, than to that do that. was essential what you posted there was essential <laughs> i mean that, yeah there's loads of videos on my instagram obviously that was just the one me riding a camel but you know what i mean um i think if you have had a look at, obviously had a look at my instagram you see workouts but i think in a world where you can be anything be kind and i think <laughs> oh you devious devious motherfucker <laughs> She gets put into a corner. She gets she she has to justify her existence and justify why she decided to fly miles and miles away from the country to go and do push-ups and squats. Um, you know, uh, on the backdrops of camels and you know whatever it may be. And then now, and because she feels that like she's under pressure, she's turning around and saying, "Be kind." be kind why don't you be kind you're not being kind to the people that are you know cleaning your bedroom and changing your sheets and picking up your mojito glasses and shit who are have to wear face masks she's not having to wear one like that, that, that that's not you being kind you're not being kind to the environment you're not being kind to anybody i love it i love it she's a clever that, that's the cleverest part about the interview to be honest right when you get attacked instead of owning up to your mistakes Always play the victim. Always play the victim. It always works. Forget about that. Um, and my job is to help people get fit and <laughs> be more visual, whether it's in the house or it's in Dubai. But can I just say something? Um, when you say be kind, kind. <laughs> like when we see how stretched the NHS is and those nurses that are working really, really hard and all they are saying is, please stay home. Please stay home. Do the right thing. Stay home. And you're saying be kind. <laughs> are you being kind to them? By encouraging to be fair to her too though to be fair to her it's funny that they're being so hard on an influencer who clearly is just a bit you know a little bit dim a little bit dense but you know she's trying to trying her best she's trying to keep a roof above her head she's trying to put food on the table it is what it is the game is the game it's again like i said it's not against the law to go to dubai but it's interesting that they're really being difficult and really hard on her when somebody like a Boris Johnson turns up or, you know, whoever else is in the Tory government that they have connections with, they're fawning over them, laughing and joking and giggling and shit. That's the person that you actually should be pulling up and pinning against the wall and asking them to detail this and that. Why didn't you this and that with this policy? Why didn't you follow through with this promise? That's you should be really grilling. Not some... 20 something influencer from newcastle wherever that she's from just trying to live her life and trying to function in a world where for the most part the government aren't looking after you they've left you onto your own devices and for the most part they've allowed you the ability to go to dubai so you're taking advantage of a loophole that exists do you know what i mean that's just how sometimes i kind of feel a bit out of order about it others to travel for what you deem as essential work yeah, I mean, it's not necessarily that I'm trying to influence, sorry, influence anybody to come out. It's just the fact that I'm doing <laughs> my kind of thing. So you're an influencer, but you're not influencing them to come out, but you need to motivate them, but you're not motivating them to come out there. Okay. Thing. I mean, if anything, I'm getting people motivated. <laughs> come on. 
You know what's funny also? You know, again, not to be mean because it's not being bad being mean, but she does look very, very different from like video to like a picture, right? It should be normal because she's an influencer. She knows her angles and shit, but it's, you wouldn't even tell that's the same person. No? Could you tell the same person? I wouldn't be able to tell the same person. And again, that makes it shown that she's really good at her job because these are some great angles that she's able to kind of pick for herself. Like, those are some great angles. You could not even tell us the same person. You think they're maybe sisters or something. That's really, really well done. So that might be worth, that might be worth a little ebook. That might be worth a, a motivation, a little like on social media and shit, innit? That might be worth it, mate. Get people motivated in the house. I'm not saying... With little burger sliders and what's your nachos there, some fries. What's that? That's the cheat meal, right? <laughs> that isn't um that isn't a that isn't a saver menu meal from flipping Uber Eats or McDonald's, is it? That's definitely something different. <laughs> Come on, let's get out, let's go outside. Like if I was in England, I could do I could do classes outside. I could do I, I'm the, the the purpose of what I'm doing is to motivate people. Man, again, she should have never gone on that show. I don't know who told her it was a good idea to do that. Uh, terrible, terrible way to sort of defend yourself. But again, I think, you know, people have to do what they have to do in this crazy, crazy world that we're living in.